Hi Grade 2s. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a Maud Lewis inspired artwork that I'm going to make. And I'm going to follow some instructions that are in the slides. So the first step is on your paper, a thicker white paper works best. So I used a page from my scrapbook. Um, I've taken a pencil and I've drawn the horizon and I've drawn some rocks. Uh, and you can see that here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a light blue paint and I'm going to paint the sky. Um, to make the light blue, I didn't have light blue, so I took the regular blue. Can you guess what color I mixed it with? If you remember back to grade one, I mixed blue with white and I came out with a nice light blue color that I'm going to use to paint my sky. So here we go. Alright, I'm going to start from one end and I'm going to paint all the way to the other end. So what I'm using, the type of paint, is called tempera paint. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. You can buy little containers of them um, from the dollar store. If it's something you don't have at home. Um, you can use watercolors for this, but the tempera paint uh, kind of works better with when you want to like mix the colors. So I'm starting from the left part of my page and I'm pulling my paintbrush all the way to the other end to fill up the sky. Now part of this step tells us that um, while your paint is still wet, I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the white paint and I'm going to add some clouds. So I'm going to do that next. Once I've done my sky, this paper is not that thick, it's kind of curling. I'm going to try to get all the way to the top of my page. Alright, there we go. Uh, so to give it more of a realistic look, I'm going to dip my paintbrush. I'm just going to use the same paintbrush and dip it into some white. And I'm going to add some clouds maybe here. I've never done this before. This is my first time doing this painting. So let's see how it turns out. I'm following the steps that are in the slides. So maybe you will work along with me. I did have to do some prep work before I started. Um, trying to make it look like a cloud. Get too much blue in there. Alright, maybe I'll connect these two, make it one long cloud. All right, there we go. I think that's good for my clouds. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is paint the hill. To make this color paint, I've mixed um, blue, sorry, not blue, green and yellow. All right, so I'm going to use this green, most more green, a little bit of yellow uh, mixture to paint the hill. Okay, so here is the hill, and I'm just going to try to fill in, as neat as I can, this space here. Alright, there, my hill is all painted. Uh, now I'm going to use this turquoise. I mean, you can use dark blue if you want, but I mixed a little green with um, the blue paint, more blue, um, and a little bit of green, and I came out with this color. Ooh, I really, really like this color. It At first, when I made it, it was a little bit um, more on the green side, so I just added more blue. Okay, and this is going to be the water. 
how nice does that color look? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to be really careful when I paint around the hill there. I don't want to get it in the water into the hill. Oh, I hope I made enough paint here. <laughs> All right, and those, there's rocks coming down here, so. There we go. You can see a little bit of green in there, can't you? You can see that there's green. And then maybe I will might even make my brush strokes look a little wavy, so it looks kind of like, acts like water then. All right. There is my water. Oh, it's looking really good. Okay, for the next part, I'm going to do the rocks. And I want my rocks to look um, three-dimensional. So we're going to do some outlining. So I'm going to use black. And I'm going to outline my rocks. And then the instructions say to mix some white. Uh, and then you can make like a gray color to fill it in. I might need some more water to fill in some spots. Just fill in a little bit here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to mix white with a little black to make a gray color. and then I'm going to paint the rocks the gray color. All right, and there you go. I'll show you a little view from the top all the way down. And now I'm going to let it dry. I'm quite happy with the way it looks. And then I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do the, the paper cutting next for the lighthouse. All right, so I cut out some paper um, to add some final touches. So I added a sun with some yellow paper. I made a boat and I also made a lighthouse to sit on um, the hill. So there we go. I'm all done. It did take me some extra time to add some details, but I think it was worth it and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I would love to see how your Maud Lewis inspired artwork turns out as well. Good luck.